five things. Are you sure you don't want 10? Hmm, five things that annoy me about my spouse. I don't understand why he can't just like sleep and like not move. Can you just chill out? Like maybe if you stop moving, you'll be able to fall asleep. One, she had this problem with me cooking in the kitchen and not cleaning up after myself when I'm not done cooking. So midway through the meal, like the, the oil has not even got hot yet. Oh, you don't clean up after yourself. That's really annoying, really annoying. Okay, wait, <laughs> you can't say that. Why? You had just finished, you finished cooking, cutting up all the garlic <laughs> and the garlic thing is on the side of the table and you're done cut up the garlic. Now you're heating up the oil to put the garlic in. And the, the garlic all, the bag of garlic, with, with all the shavings of garlic need to go in the garbage and it's sitting on the countertop. Annoying number two, you're in my part of the interview now. You are, you just invaded my interview. That's annoying. Urgh, drives me bonkers. Number two. I know that you need to cut your fingernails and your toenails. I know that it's hygienic but you need to cut them and you need to count them. Like when you cut one fingernail and it flies somewhere, if when you're done and you've done one hand and you only find four fingernails, you're missing one, it's somewhere and I'm probably gonna step on it. You know what, it's an anti-annoyance. Let me cut my toenails in peace, please. Like literally the other day, my toenails look like this. Ah, Just because I just don't wanna hear her nagging. One time she actually clipped my toenails and it flew and I was like, yo, see, it's not my fault. I can't catch all these toenails. Once you clip them, they just fly. They just... Oh, I can't stand that one. Three, why when you are blowing your nose, do you need to look at it? Why? He's picking his nose. He's not blowing his nose. Let me start again. He's picking his nose, thankfully this time, with a tissue because, well, let's just face it. Most of the times he doesn't use a tissue, which is even grosser if grosser is even a word. But then when he uses a tissue, he like picks it and then looks like. Projecting other people's thoughts on herself. That's annoying. She could actually think for the other person and answer for the other person. It's like, oh my God, no. They're already gonna say this, this, and this, and this, and that's it. And I'm like, whoa, what happened? Four, when he's in bed, he does this thing with his foot. It sounds like he's like breaking off like a piece of his toe. It's like this. That's exactly what it sounds like. Can you hear that? Sometimes I'm on a phone call. I'm having a private conversation. It might be on speakerphone. Why are you answering? Why are you answering for me? That doesn't need to happen. He does this thing in the shower. He just like, it's like a snot rocket he's doing in the shower and just. <laughs> this doesn't annoy me, but it entertains me. When she goes into deep thought, this is her, her expression. Literally, she's standing there for like five, 10 minutes. She explains to me, it's a thought bubble and she has to look into the thought bubble. She has to look up and she's like, looking at all her thoughts at once. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. What's happening is there's booger on the wall, stuck there, and it dries up, and then I have to look at it. And I know he doesn't see it because he's not wearing his glasses because nobody wears glasses inside the shower. So you look and you see boogers and you're just like, Ugh! All right, and this is the fifth and final annoyance of my, my Courtship, is that right? Courtship? <laughs> this woman, after using a the bathroom, there's always streaks in the toilet and she wants to blame the baby. But you cannot blame the baby. Just take responsibility for your action, woman. You hear me? <gasps> or when we're in the shower and we're bathing, because we like to bathe in the shower together. And he of course wants to wash his armpits. Why, when he's cleaning his armpits, does he have to flash dirty armpit water on my face? Like, it's just water in my face. 
turn around. But of course, then I go to the other side and I stand behind him and what happens? He turns around and he's splashing water on my face. Like, oh, stop putting dirty armpit water on my face. And yeah, that's it. Was that five things? I, I, I may have done more.